Hi, first grade. Welcome back for phonics. We are on lesson 119. We are going to talk about digraphs today. Remember that a digraph is two, two letters that come together to make one sound. And I think we've maybe talked about this digraph before. This is digraph IE. Okay, listen to these words and I want you to repeat them. Field, thief, yield. What sound do you hear in the middle, in the medial position of field, thief, and yield? Do you hear the E sound? Let's look at these words on my board. Field, thief, yield. Like I said, we're talking about two letters today for a digraph. What two letters are making the E sound? I-E, this is digraph I-E. Two letters coming together to say one sound. I-E says E, okay? How do we code digraphs? We underline them, so I'm going to underline Digraph IE. And in this digraph, how should we code it so that it says E? That E is the long sound, so we put a macron above the E. What should we do with the I? Do you hear it? If we don't hear it, we cross it out. Field. 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 Let's look at the next word. We have digraph IE. The I is silent. The E says its name. Any other coding in this word? Digraph TH, underline that digraph. E, thief. And we have our last word, digraph IE. Macron above the E, cross out the I. Yield, yield, that means to slow down. If I see a yield sign while I'm driving, I should slow down and watch for other cars. Now, let's echo these words and listen to the sound in the final position. So at the end of the word, tie, lie. What sound do you hear at the end of tie and lie? The I sound, right? Let's look at these words on my board. Let me write them really quickly. So we heard the I sound. There are two letters making the I sound. Which two letters are making the I sound? I-E, right, digraph I-E makes two sounds. It can say E or I. So how do we code digraph I-E? I'm going to underline it. How do I code it if I want it to say I this time? We put macron above the I, cross out the E. I tie, like I need to tie my shoes. And for lie, underline the digraph. Again, we want the I to say its name. So we put a macron, cross out the E, it is silent. Please do not lie to your parents. So is digraph IE a vowel digraph or a consonant digraph? It is a vowel digraph. It makes a vowel sound and it's made of two vowels. So we need to talk about both digraphs again. So let's look at our cards, okay? Let's look at our cards. My picture card first for digraph IE is a kind of dessert. It comes in a round pan and you might put ice cream or whipped cream on top. 
Some of my favorite flavors are apple, pumpkin, and lemon. What do you think it is? Pie. Pie. When you see this card say pie, I. The keyword pie helps us remember the I sound spelled with digraph I, E. Pie, I. The next keyword for digraph I, E has the E sound. Let's see if you can guess it. This is something that knights from long ago used in battles along with their swords. It's usually made of metal and a knight uses this as protection from weapons. Do you know what it is? It is a shield, 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 E. The keyword shield helps us remember the E sound spelled with digraph I-E. So again, digraph I-E can say I, like pie, or E, like shield. I or E for digraph I-E. So we just have to try them and see which one sounds better and makes a real word. So we are going to get some practice with coding and reading words with digraph IE on our worksheet. I'll see you there.